Yo guys, welcome back to another Sif Geek YouTube video on the channel today and we're not sponsored by Farm Foods, I've just finished work, that's another work t-shirt that's chucked up there. Just before we start, obviously you know what this is, um, thumbnail and title, we're just doing a little vlog and a lot of reactions to the Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantum Mania, so Ant-Man 3 and um, I've heard really good things about it so I can't wait to go, I'm going with uh, Father Sith otherwise known as Colin. We're going with him. I just came home from work literally two minutes ago and my mom has just found this. It's a classic um, Legoland Windsor raincoat. Well, not raincoat. It's it's what you use, like, if you're going like the log flume or like, the Viking ride, you, can you just wear this. And obviously it's a child's one, I'd imagine. But then again, I am 6'4", six, 6'5". Six, so last time I was there was probably, do you know, Still massive. But yeah, the most recent movie I've watched from the Marvel Cinematic Universe is Black Panther Forever. And um, that was a, a real disappointment compared to obviously the original uh, Black Panther, probably one of the best Marvel movies. Not for me, but obviously in the eyes of the critics and some of the fans there. Losing inclusion of Chad McBoseman, RIP to him. So not having him in there was probably a real letdown. And just everything about it, just the, the scripting, the some of the acting, some of the main characters, but I've got high hopes for this one and I think this one's going to be massive. Uh, what I've heard um, about it is you have to stick with it, even though at the start it might be a little, it might drag a little bit and it might go off to a little bit of a soft start, but you have to like keep with it and um, yeah, we'll see what we can do. But yeah, the movie's at half five, it's going to be in 3D, so we'll see if that's okay, see if there's any 3D elements, but obviously I'll come back after, maybe have a uh, talk with Father Sith about the um, post um, movie experience, pre-movie experience, and we'll see. Got some snacks, dairy milk, cabbie buttons for me, and um, some, what was it, um, M&M's chocolate brownie for my for father. But anyways, um, yeah, hopefully we will um, see you there. Hi right, guys, so we're in the car on the way to uh, Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantum Mania. So we're with Father Sith here as he drives us. Just having a little pre-cinema chat here. So dad, what was the last movie you saw in the cinematic universe? Was the last Spider Man. So you've not seen uh, Black Panther? I've seen it. Oh, you've seen it, just not in the cinema? Correct. Ah, right, okay. What did you think of Black Panther? I think it was fine. You think it was fine? I thought it was a bit lackluster, just obviously not having uh, Chad McBoseman, RIP, but I thought like everything to it was just compared to the first one, it just wasn't good enough, but there you are. I think the last TV show that I because there was a recent TV show, but like the last one was it Moon Knight? Because there's Loki season two coming out. It was Moon Knight I watched. The like last one was Miss Marvel. Oh, I, I, oh, that's that was honking. I watched like three episodes of that and thought I just couldn't finish it. Setting like up for the Marvels. So. Yeah, it is. It is, but at the same time. And also the Young Avengers. Program. Yeah, and Young Avengers as well, yeah. Obviously Fantastic Four is coming soon. With the tie-in with uh, Deadpool, because obviously Deadpool 3 is going to have... Um, what's his face? Hugh Jackman in it. Um, so, yeah. But yeah, we'll meet you guys at the cinema. And obviously, we'll have our we'll chat beforehand, and then we'll have our probably spoiler thoughts after. So, just just post that out to you guys. It's going to be a spoilery thoughts. Um, after. And so this Playhouse Cinema. <laughs> Newly built, it's not even been a year old. So I'll go to your local, supporting the community and that. What was the last movie you saw at the cinema? Uh, Man Cup of Water, wasn't it? Oh. Up the stairs. Oh, we're five minutes late. Oh wait, we are we're five minutes late. 3D glasses over. <laughs> Get the 3D nose. Let's go, let's go. Screen, screen three, yeah? <clears throat> Who's seen these other movies? No one cares, Tom Hanks, no one cares. 
Was that man from Ottawa actually good? I thought it was alright. Mum didn't like it. I forgot Mum doesn't like anything. Bad man, bad man, bad man. I was here in the movie, 3D glasses off. We're watch the first cutscene, obviously, the second cutscene is coming. I don't know if it's a funnier one of ours, it's still story related. It's raining and it's pouring. No, it's not pouring. No, it was, it was, it was okay, but Certain, certain parts of it were, I think, were rehashes of other movies. Like, like the end with the fight, I felt was like a sort of rehash of like the in, either Infinity War or Endgame fight. So I just thought it was a bit. But then certain other parts that I did enjoy. But like, I st I still think people didn't like Doctor Strange, but I, I really think Doctor Strange was good. It was better than Wakanda Forever, like, which is easy enough because it's not saying much, but. Oh. So guys, back from uh, Ant-Man and the Wasp uh, 3 Quantumania and this is my thoughts. It's going to be not really much edited and it's I'm not going to do that many movie reviews but I want to do a couple just for the major releases like your Star Wars movies, your um, Marvel movies, etc. But my thoughts on this were and it's going to be spoilers. I'm going to be all over the shop here. I'm trying, not go, I'm trying to not cut this up as much as I would normally do in any other video but yeah, my thoughts will just be all over the place because I don't really do movie reviews often, but yeah. So, I'm in the Wasp 3 at Quantum Mania. It was really interesting and to start off with, like, that man, he's got everything. He's got the book deal, he's he's living his life, he's got his daughter, he's, he's got hope. Everyone he could possibly want, he's got everything going good, but obviously in every other superhero movie something has to go wrong. And what goes wrong is um, his daughter, Cassie, basically she creates this device to uh, see into the quantum realm and it goes wrong and uh, Mo Mozok uh, sees that and um, basically pulls them in and then they have to they f they find these uh, cr people that were in the quantum realm that I didn't know about and these people and um, help them but they're scared of this person called Kang, Kang the Conqueror, obviously he's a, the next big level super, super villain after Thanos and instead of uh, wanting to destroy one universe he, he wants to destroy all universes and timelines obviously that's going to build into Loki and uh, Loki season 2 coming out in um, June the 1st I think but obviously we will get Guardians and Galaxy 3 but we'll see what happens with the post credits I'll talk about that in just a second but it was really interesting and um, from then obviously they have to fight off against Kang but I do think like the final battle was very reminiscent of like a end game sort of thing and it just didn't hit as well as I think if this movie was released like a couple of years ago and um, like before Endgame, before Infinity War and those big movies that like big fight scenes with lots of like Kang soldiers and lots of infrastructure and everything that blows up I think would have been would have hit home more but unfortunately it's just going to be toned down because it's not going to be as like not as meaningful as those movies were because um everything has to be toned down to build up build up build up but i feel we've not had a lot as much build up to this character obviously but you had like so many movies building up thanos and we get our our big insights to kang here and how he was trapped there by the rest of kang's um i'll go back to th that in just a second but obviously we have two post credit scenes here the first one was really interesting it was a bit of um if you don't if you watch um rick and morty rick and morty has this thing um called the the ricks the, the council of the ricks or something like that and basically they have these meetings about this one rick that is not that is the good rick or the bad rick and it, there's just lots of stuff like that and it was very similar to what this was so that's like the ca council of the kangs and we don't know if kang actually died in this movie we don't know like the kang the conqueror persona because the end with the first post post credit scene the kang the conqueror was well he was supposed to be killed but i don't think he is killed but the rest of them were just different kangs so we got one from a cowboy timeline one from a um egypt timeline one from tons of other different timelines and 
it, what it felt to me was that Kang the Conqueror, the one they fought in the end final scene, was almost a, a good Kang in sort of way because he wanted to destroy all the other timelines with the Kangs in them. So then there was just one Kang left. So I think, is Kang the Conqueror still alive? And also, does the Kang, the one who remains, is that a post evolution of Kang the Conqueror, the same Kang, or is that a different Kang that killed Kang the Conqueror and all the others in the end or post character scene of Loki season one? Who knows? I'm just saying a lot of things and um, I, this is very interesting. The last post credit scene with the Loki and they're watching something that's really interesting. It was more of a funny one. You always have like a serious like timeline, a story based one and like more of a funny one, but it was timeline based as well. So that was sort of my thoughts there. Well, one final thought is I really like the movie. I'm, I'll give it like a, let's give it a 6.5 to a 7, 7 being generous, 6.5 out of 10, um, just comparing it to the rest of the Marvel movies um, there. And one final note on the movie I want to give is uh, Cassie, um, Scott Lang's daughter. I think, I'm nothing against the actress in the movie, it might have been the writing, but in in this movie, she was, in my opinion, she just didn't, she didn't feel like she should have been there. She wasn't hitting all the moments with her in the scenes just felt like they just stopped still, like everything was in motion and then she she wasn't free free flowing. It didn't really work in my opinion. I just I don't know what it was about her, but leave your comments and thoughts down below how you felt about Cassie, but and also I want to hear in the comments and thoughts down below if you want me to talk and make a new video about the uh, Ant Man set that's here. Um, that just released a couple of days ago, well, the images released a couple of days ago and will release quite shortly. Do you want me to make um, a video about that and my thoughts that I've now seen the movie um, and what I think about it? Is it accurate? Should it have had more minifigures? What's going on with it? And maybe full rundown. But if you want to uh, watch my um, news video about that, that will also be here and there'll be a link in the description down below and you can just head across to my YouTube channel and it's up there already. But anyways, guys, peace out. Finish rest day. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed this. Uh, leave in comments, have you seen the movie, do you like it, etc, all your thoughts. Yeah, peace out, have a nice rest of your day, and I'll see you later on the YouTube channel. Cheers guys, bye.